using live to connect with your audience. And when I say live, I'm talking about live video, obviously. Welcome to High End Client Acquisition Podcast. My name is Marian, I'm your host, and this show is here to teach you how to attract your dream clients on autopilot in 30 days or less. Each week, I bring you a guest or a strategy that can help you take your business to the next level. Don't forget, you can always get the episodes in your inbox or messenger at clientacquisitionpodcast.com. It's very important to remember, I was asked this by a customer of mine yesterday, and we were you know, looking at the strategy for content creation for their brand, right? So the whole conversation started with, should I do Instagram daily videos? Should I do live videos? Should I do Facebook type of live Q&A show? Should I post videos on YouTube, right? So the whole conversation comes to like, who's your audience, number one, right? So you have to understand what type of age bracket do you target? Like how old or how young is your audience? However, regardless if your audience is, you know, in the younger demographic, it's all about, you know, choosing the plat the right platform, but the strategy will be the same, right? So for example, if you're selling some sort of e-commerce products or some services of any type that appeal to people between, let's say, 18 up to 30 years old, well, that would be Instagram, right? So Instagram Live would be a great way for you to share your message, uh, educate the consumers, and also connect with the audience with videos just like this, right? Now, if your audience is even younger than that, you'll probably want to do TikTok, right? So TikTok is that, you know, funny app that you can post shorter videos from 15 seconds up to, I think a minute is the max unless they change it. But from that, they, you can also do live videos as long as you have a thousand followers, right? So. And then we go into what about if you have an older demographic, right? like 30 years and plus, right? So it's it all comes down to what type of content you can create. So number one, you can first do some research so you can start the research on YouTube because it's a search engine and people are able to kind of search for different type of content. You know, they can look at or you can look from a business standpoint, you can look at what people are searching for and then you can create the content based on that, right? So it's a big, big difference of knowing what to talk about based on what people are searching for. However, when you do live video like this, people can people can see the behind the scenes, uh, people can see, you know, who's the real person behind the brand, who's the actual, you know, the personal brand. If you are, if you're a personal brand that if you're, uh, and I highly recommend you actually create content from your personal brand and, and don't just have a business logo uh, in your profile photo because people, in order for you to be known, liked and trusted, people have to connect with you first, right? So before they even know you, they have to connect with you, right? So I have this process of connect, know, like, and trust. Because if you're not connecting with people, you're missing out on, on a ton of opportunities, you know, throughout your journey as, you know, how you take a person to connect with you, know you, like, and trust you so they can, you know, eventually buy from you, right? So it's a whole it's a whole process, it's a whole ecosystem that you have to really, really pay attention to and do it in a way that actually helps the consumer, right? So I'm doing now a live video. What happens is I'm actually answer a question that a customer of mine asked me yesterday, you know, during one of our conversations. So what's important to understand is you can still do live videos and answer questions based on the topics that you get asked um, on a, you know, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And this can also be from your, you know, from your YouTube channel. If people are asking you questions over there, if if they don't, don't worry about it. You can actually use a tool um, that I use. It's called Keywords Everywhere. It's just a Google Chrome extension. You install it in your browser and then you can see, or you can just use the Google AdWords Keyword Planner and see what people are searching for, right? Once you know, what they actually search for, then you can come to IG, you can come to Facebook. Now, I'm really a big proponent, if you do Facebook Lives, you should do Facebook Lives from your business page. The reason for that is this, once you go live on Facebook, you can actually promote the video with, you know, five, 10 bucks, doesn't matter, to push it to more and more people, right? So when you do that, Obviously, if when you go live, you only get, let's say, you know, 10 people, 20 people, three, four people, doesn't matter. One people, one person, one people, <laughs> one person to, to show up live. You can actually promote the video later 
to show it to more people, right? So you can choose the audience. So Instagram so far doesn't allow you to do that. However, just a few days ago, they uh, came out with this awesome feature that at the end of the video, you can actually share the live video to your IGTV, like literally on the spot, which is one of the most powerful features that they ever came out with that's related to the live videos that you create, right? So I do believe it's super powerful and you should actually take advantage of this. Now, right, right now, I'm planning to go live at least once, two times every single day right here on IG to be able to answer questions, to be able to answer questions that I get previously from customers or questions that I get from my YouTube channel. Doesn't matter, right? The point of the matter is this, the more you get a chance to answer questions from your audience, from your followers, from people. And if you don't have an audience, that's totally cool. You can answer questions from, um, you know, from YouTube. Like you can type in different topics that you are passionate about and then YouTube will auto populate that, right? Like if you type in weight loss, it's gonna start populate. If you just hit space, it's gonna say weight loss for men, weight loss for men under 40, weight loss for women under, weight loss for teen, right? So you'll see exactly, and that means that people are actively searching for that topic. That's why YouTube is, you know, populating that key phrase, that entire, you know, long tail keyword. So, you know, with that being said, you want to then write a couple of topics. So I would say, you know, I, I can do it right now because I have the phone on a <laughs> on a tripod with all kinds of, uh, it's a mic attached to it and the tripod is sits in a different spot. So I can't really uh, flip my screen. However, I have a couple of topics written right here next to the phone. And then I know that I can pick from those topics and freely talk about. I never script my videos. I always have, you know, a couple bullet points that I can then share with you know with the audience so I do that I never like I just I cannot literally read off a script it's just it's killing me so the moment I start doing that I gotta wear glasses <laughs> to be able to read off so I only talk about stuff that I know right if I don't know the topic I just don't bring it up I don't talk about it period right that's the way that I that I function from a content perspective. However, you can pick a couple of different topics and then based on, you know, based on what people respond, you can then do a series, right? So for example, on my YouTube channel, I've noticed I posted, I think um, in one week, about five videos about Instagram and how to grow an audience on Instagram. All those videos got me 20 to 40% more views than my regular videos, right? For a while, I thought, People want to learn, you know, different topics from me. I thought uh, they want to learn, you know, stuff about sales funnels, stuff about all different things. But then when I look in there and see what people were responding to, I'm like, okay, now I'm going to make a list of bullet points that I can answer questions to and I can also talk about. But I cannot fully script the videos because I, I cannot record it that way. So back to, back to the question that I was answering at the beginning of this video was, mainly focusing on what the audience wants from me in this part. And then I gave the same advice to my customer, right? So I said, cool, if you already have a product suit, like if you're already selling, you know, a product, a program, whatever it is, then try to focus also your, your content to be about topics, to be about questions from that direct um, product or program that you're selling, right? So for example, if you're selling a weight loss program or, or a weight loss challenge, for example, you shouldn't come on Instagram Live or Facebook Live or YouTube Live and talk about e-commerce, for instance, right? You should stick to the content that you're creating and then use, I would say, I would highly recommend to do live video because when you do live, people can actually ask you questions, right? So it's crucial to keep that in mind and focus on the exact uh, things that either your customers or your followers or people in your audience are asking you or if you don't have an audience, if you don't have questions, go to YouTube and then just start typing in key phrases, all right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other similar questions about this. Make sure you put them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button to just mess around with the Instagram algorithm. And until later today or tomorrow, don't forget we'll do these live series every single day, sometimes even twice per day. I'll see you guys later. Hey, podcast listeners. I want you to know that I really appreciate your attention and I don't take it lightly. That's why each month we pick a lucky winner and we give away books, mentorship, software, courses, iPads, and other cool stuff. 
the way to enter is go to clientacquisitionpodcast.com and sign up. You'll get all the details there. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.